just finished getting ready and I'm absolutely obsessed with this outfit you guys this is my new favorite thing I got this from free people like two years ago and I decided to wear as little bandana because people were I saw it on like Pinterest and I absolutely love that um, so I tried it out and I'm a fan and then this outfit is just so simple but I feel like it's so cute this little collared throwover tee type of thing is actually from Poshmark, definitely one of my favorite little Poshmark finds. And then this white tank is from Aritzia, and then these black straight jeans are from Abercrombie. So I'll try to link these two things down below. Um, this, I don't think like I'll be able to find it, but I can definitely find things similar to that. And then these shoes are just some white little Pumas, definitely one of my favorite shoes ever. But yeah, that's the fit. And then I also packed another outfit just in case my sister and I end up taking like more than um, like a couple photos. So I just brought this cherry little tank and then also just a pair of black Aritzia biker shorts and then my Princess Polly cropped denim jacket so if we do have a little bit more of like a photo op moment I'll change into that outfit and I actually think I'm going to head to Trader Joe's right now because my sister is taking forever to come and I needed to do that today so I think I might just knock that off my to-do list right now get it out of the way and I wanted to bring you guys along because I love watching people's like Trader Joe's staples and seeing what people like from Trader Joe's and like trying new things. So I'm gonna go pick up some of my staples. It's gonna be a quick little shop. I really don't need too many things. And then I'll come back here and show you guys some of my essentials. Also, this is random, but I'm like on Trader Joe's TikTok right now. And like, oh, I just like love watching people's little recipes that they throw together. It's fun to me, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go head out and I'll see you guys in a bit. Time for the Trader Joe's haul, people. Okay, I didn't get that much, but first things first, we got some smoked salmon. I'm sad because they didn't have my all-time favorite little ahi tuna, but we will live. Um, got some maple chicken breakfast sausages. I've been missing these little babies. Maddie's over here nodding, <laughs> nodding away. I got an RX bar. What flavor is this? Vanilla almond, courtesy of Maddie and Emily. They so good. hyped this up. So I decided to get a little single pack to see how we feel. Then I also got chocolate raspberry. I'm excited for this one. Oh, I want that. Yes, I like the color. The packaging sold me. Mm -hmm. Then I got some sweet plantain chips. Always a good little snack. And then rice cauliflower. This is like a essential. And then, whoops, there goes my mask. Then some kale gnocchi. This has like turned out to be my favorite thing ever recently. I'm gonna like put stuff away as I talk because that's called being efficient. Um, got some laughing cow cheese. It was just calling my name. Um, also got some cottage cheese. I am sucking at being dairy free. We don't, we just don't believe in that. <laughs> then I also got some cauliflower thins. I'm excited to try these. And then I got some of the vegan chickenless salt because I used the last of it the other day. 
Then got some of these chocolate hazelnut little balls. I don't know, they looked really good. Uh, some sweet peppers, some lemons because I love iced lemon water so much. And then the last two things I got were the um, high protein veggie burgers and then the chili lime chicken burgers, which I feel like I've had these before, but I forgot how I liked them. So I just decided to get them again because it sounded good. So that's my little mini Trader Joe's haul. Very quick, but I'm going to put all this away and then my sister should be here any minute. So I'm glad I got that out of the way because I just wanted to go to Trader Joe's today and I knew that if I went later, it would be like really, really busy. So got it done. Love that. Happy Monday. Hi, vloggy. Hello. Back with Lael. We're at this cute little park very fall leaves vibes and we're gonna go take some photos i'll insert all the photos we take here and hopefully they'll make it on the gram that's always the goal so we're gonna go take we're gonna go pics. do it we're gonna go do the thing people So update on our little photo shoot. I feel like I'm having one of those days where it's just like, you don't like how things are turning out, you know? Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna try a new little situation here. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna try her out. Try her out, give her a shot. Okay, so I just did a quick little outfit change. I changed into the outfit that I showed you guys earlier. And now we're gonna head to Starbucks, do a little pit stop, because a little Starbucks can't hurt anybody, Never. right? Right. Never. Never. Right. Um, no, just get in the right lane, and then it'll be. Do you see the sign? So it's. Oh up. yeah, it's I see past, my mermaid woman. It's past this. Then we're going to continue taking photos because Lael's outfit is like cool for kind of like a rustic kind of background, mm -hmm. do you feel? Like 90s vibes? For sure. For oh, sure. She's... What? Oh, sorry guys, I had to stop vlogging for a sec. I feel like I have to be Lael's, what is it, the backseat Mother? driver? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna try a new drink. It's what a little chilly. Think? What do you think? It's yeah. chilly, puts windows down. Well, cause it's like warmer outside. So, I what don't know get? what I would get. I just like caffeine and coffee. Would you get again a vanilla you latte? You put me onto it, the iced vanilla latte. I did? Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, I remember. You're just very unique with your Starbucks drinks. As I always get an iced Americano. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I was dropped up. Cheers. Mm. Yummy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Very good. Justin. I need to put you guys on this. <gasps> sanitizer? Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, please try this. Is it really that good? Let me put you on. Yeah, you wanna try? Yeah, you wanna try something? Yeah, sure. Ooh. I know. This drink, success. Highly recommend. But we just landed at our next little shoot location. <laughs> and we're gonna take some photos. So yes, let's yeah. do it. Okay, I'm in the middle of doing some homework right now and just school related stuff and there's something that's been like weighing on my mind and I feel like I should just share it with you guys because if you are in the same position as me, you're a senior in college and you're already dreading post-grad life, like welcome to my brain right now because I'm stressing. And it's October and I don't graduate until May, so I really shouldn't be stressing out but hear me out. So basically, 
I really do want to have a nine to five job. I just think I have really good work ethic and I think it would be enjoyable for me to have YouTube as like my side hobby and then have a nine to five job that I, you know, work at because I just, YouTube is obviously a dream career for so many people and for me it is too. Like it's crazy to me that this is my life and this is how I make an income, especially as a college student. Like it's crazy to me and I could not be more grateful, but it just scares me so much. It could be gone in a matter of you know weeks or days you have no idea with social media like you don't know what's gonna happen for example like TikTok is being apparently taken down I swear they've said that like 40 million times but it just goes to show like I never know where this is gonna go so it's just very scary to me like how fluid this you know career path is like I don't want to rely on that and I really do want to experience a traditional nine to five job whether it's corporate or anything like that and once I graduate college my dream would be to be a brand manager for a company um, there's two that I would just absolutely die to have but the worst part is all of the jobs that I want are either in LA or New York New York and I don't know if I can see myself living out there but again if the opportunity presented itself I would take it in a heartbeat and it just stresses me out that Obviously my resume is going to look a heck of a lot different than a lot of the applicants and I just have such a different career path and like experience than the traditional college kid. So it just worries me but I really need to just like not worry and let things happen as they should because I really do strongly believe that everything happens for a reason and my YouTube is just something I obviously love to do but I look at it more it's like a hobby or something I just do for fun and obviously I'm going to college I went to college for four years spent all the money to get a degree so that I can work a nine-to-five job otherwise I wouldn't be here if I you know didn't want that so yeah that's kind of my little conundrum right now I'm kind of just feeling a little lost i don't know i really don't know you guys probably don't care but i just figured i would share that with you guys because it's important to let you all in in the stresses that are going on and college is not all fun and games and right now it's really not um anyways i'm just gonna finish up my homework and then we will get to cooking up some dinner so i'm gonna do that and i really do need to order a new laptop so rip rip I'm gonna do that too right now. Don't wanna, but I gotta. a chef now yeah welcome to my kitchen well like what kind of wings like I mean you like just with breadcrumbs then when you air fry them with like seasoning and stuff mm. I don't know it was Emily's suggestion so if it goes bad I'm like gold health <laughs> do not blame me <laughs> all right I need to I'm so hungry okay I'm gonna make some dinner so I'm gonna do basically just like a salad bowl with um, smoked salmon and an egg on top and then I also put cauliflower or er, kale gnocchi with it because it's so good and adds like a little texture to the dish so I'm just going to put some kale and spinach in it and then cook the egg and then also some veggies to top it off and then I have some seaweed that I like to put on it too and then just some like little shredded cheese so I'll show you guys when it's all done, but this is basically everything and you can literally get all this stuff at Trader Joe's. So love a little Trader Joe's moment.
right, I just made myself some tea. I'm gonna crawl into bed. I was like in bed a little bit ago, but I wanted some tea to wind down, so I did that and washed my face and everything. And I also put on a face mask, which you can't really tell because it's the Drunk Elephant Baby Skin Facial, so it's clear, but it has BHAs and AHAs in it. So I'm really hoping it's gonna do the trick and like make my skin look a little brighter and just, I feel like lately my skin has just been looking dull, but I'm going to end off the vlog here because I'm gonna go to bed. I know it's like 8.30 and I'm exhausted, but I'm gonna chill, get a good night's sleep and I have class tomorrow. So I need to get up early for that. Um, but this morning when I woke up, I had like my windows open last night and I woke up to like the most like fresh, crisp fall air and it was like so refreshing. So I'm going to open my windows tonight and sleep with them open because it literally like gave me the best night's sleep ever and I haven't had a solid night's sleep like that in a long time. So honestly, it just smells so refreshing. Like I've been craving that that's what i miss about like living in the suburbs and not in the city is i feel like the air in the suburbs is just more like fresh and crispy so last night i was like wow i loved that okay anyways enough about that um i'm gonna end off the vlog i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys